Hey. Yeah, so let's get into this match. Around Battlefield. Oh, you know why I love? That both characters can crouch like a pancake. I love that for them. Yeah, they, they both have very low uh, ducks. That's so funny. I saw Snake doing I was like, wait, <laughs> and I have two of them. Yeah, so Bobo is super good at placing, very quietly placing like C4. Like, I, I, I can guarantee you there's one right now, and this is zoomed in right now, but I, I guarantee you there's one on one of these platforms. He's so secretive about, about detonating it. And we, when we were playing our set, I was like, I lost the first game, and I was like, I never see the C4. And he's like, yeah. Uh, I was playing against XYZ, and he was all like, bro, the C4 blinks. And I was like... It does. It, so, like, when it first dropped, it, it blinks, uh -huh. and then eventually, after some amount of time, it, it, stops, it stops blinking. Stops. But uh, he, was just like, he was like, just look at the blinking, and I'm like, you know what? You're right. I just don't pay no. attention like that. All right, yeah, so this is a pretty... Uh, I really haven't really seen this matchup too much. I know John is going to be really uh, confident versus Snake just because, well, John's a brawl player. So yeah. if there's one thing us brawl players like to talk about, it's about saying we know the Snake <gasps> matchup. But that's not going to help him when you get hit by that motor and go die off the top. So now we got Bobo with a stock lead and uh, Battlefield, big blast zones, big stage. So 134, like Snake's pretty heavy. Uh, he's going to want to go for trades and like, yeah, if he goes for like trades, he's like not gonna really uh, die from any of that. It's really gonna be like edge guards or juggle situations that's really gonna take out Snake. So right now, this is a really good position for Bobo. Did a grenade? Um, did a great? Did grenade just completely dissipate Sun Salutation? Yeah. So the grenade has a hurt box. Uh huh. Uh, so the once the once uh, the sun like hits it, it goes. Oh, I hit something, so now I will disappear. That's crazy. All right. Because like as opposed to it just having like if it was only a hitbox, then it would just be like I'm way stronger than you, so I'll just pass right through you. Mm -hmm. But because there's a hurt box, it's it just like hitting a character. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't pass through a character. That's good to know, cause. I just saw it disappear, and I was like, huh, I actually didn't know that it just disappeared. It treated it like as if it was a character. Yeah. So that, that's a, that's actually pretty OP against Wii Fit, if you're able to just kind of throw those around. But right now, Bobo, I mean, both of them are sitting pretty comfortable at two, at two stocks, using that uh, snake up tilt, trying to get John Numbers to go off stage and, like, you know, die up, up, off, off of the top. Yeah, uh, uh, John doing a good job of making back this oh, deficit is what I would right. say if you were going to just whiff grab while your man's is on the platform above you and get hit by that C4. So once again, you know, John was closing that gap, but Bubble was just like, <laughs> I'm going to have the stock lead again. Again, you, got, you, you just have to pay attention to where Bobo kind of just sets up these C4s because he sets them up so quietly. Like, there's... You just don't know where he, you put them. Like, you see all the grenades, you see all the, like, the other stuff, but you don't see... The stupid C4, he then he said that literally the per most perfect times, and like, that was the perfect time, but you know, I, I, I'll respect it. <laughs> oh yeah, getting them off the top with that uh, deep breathing we fit, but right now both players are one stock. John Numbers, I think, even though he's at like 33%, I think he should be kind of scared. Oh my god. Did he literally, alright, <laughs> he just, I think he just bared away from like above the sound salutation, that's awful. And right now, Bobo kind of has a, a like a ledge kind of trapping thing going right now. Oh, beautiful! Ooh, actually taking it. All right. That was nice. But very, very like plentiful ledge trapping options he can use with both. Um, what was it motor or just rocket missile? What? What killed? Oh no, 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 no! Like the ledge, the ledge guarding he was doing against John Numbers, and then he kind of just forced him to neutral get up, and. <laughs> just destroyed him with like. I love this grab. move because it just looks like Snake is trying to kick off like. Like spiders crawling on his legs. Let me see. He's just like, like boom. He's like, ugh, get get that, <laughs> get that off me. Like when he goes in the other direction, ugh, get 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 it off me. Ew, ew. It's ew. like gross. Get yeah. it off me. Get we fit off of me, which understandable. Yeah. So okay. Uh, Over a small battlefield. Yeah. So uh, Bobo got rid of FD and Yoshi's, and then uh, John running it back to small battlefield. Oh no, we were on uh, we were yeah. on, on full battlefield. Uh, on full battlefield one. as opposed yeah. to empty yeah. battlefield? <laughs> yeah. Uh, battlefield? Small. Uh, battlefield small. Yeah, so let's see where we're going to go, what's going to happen now. Uh, so this stage, obviously going to be a little smaller-ish blast zones compared to regular battlefield. Uh, and yeah, Bobo doing a pretty good job of just like, well, 
Uh -oh. Right now, kind of losing the percent war. And, like, it's usually okay for Snake to go for trades because, like, when Snake lands hits, like, Snake hits hard. So He does hit hard. Yeah. He takes like, an easy 40% off of you off of, like, two hits. And that was, like, three because from, like, the explosives. Okay, so the C4 was Please. dropped, like, right next to the platform. It didn't land on it, so it's yeah. right below it. And, oh, okay, so Snake can't uh, duck under uh, full charge sal sun salutation, which is <laughs> really good for Wii Fit. It's, it's so big, I don't think he could, Ooh, but he can definitely... Oh, wow, 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 oh my god. I was going to say, great, like, block string uh, by uh, Bobo, like, getting the down throw and, like, tracking the roll. But Wii Fit has a huge uh, roll, so he actually couldn't, like, cover it. Because, like, he made the read and got the right thing. Made the right decision, but Weefe was like way too far away, and then John was able to turn that situation around, taking the stock. Yeah, he's just making, he's just forcing John to like very predictable situations when he's doing uh, his ledge guard with the missiles and the grenades, which is really sucky for John. That, that leaves him with like two options, which is neutral get up or roll in. John. John was, John was doing a really good job of like uh, timing his ledge get ups to mm -hmm. get past the explosions and like and all that. But then uh, Bobo adding in the dash attack, which is a very meaty move, and yeah, that was going to be enough to send John off to the right side blast zone. Really strong move, and John was already at a pretty high percent. Yeah. I also think John has to be really careful with this matchup anyway, just because Bobo has clearly shown that, bro, he'll he'll take your stock with all yeah. these C4s for sure. Okay, got another edge guard situation here. What can uh, Bobo try and like make the best of the situation to, to close this percent gap? Right now, it's not too big of a deal, but you know, every I don't know. I wouldn't say necessarily that a trade is in John's favor, just because like the way these characters play, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Like as they're getting uh, higher in percent, I think it's like technically a little bit better for Snake, but like it, it's still really it's a tough call to make. So like yeah. John is. In quotes, winning. But, like, it's relatively even right now. Uh-oh. Let's see what's going to happen. <gasps> Ooh, shaking the spiders Good off job. and getting on the back hit. Shaking the spiders off and getting the back hit. Yo. <laughs> the spider in question is definitely John. John Numero. <laughs> Juan Numeros. <laughs> oh my Juan God. Numeros. Ooh, Bubble trying to play the mini game right now with the, uh, the Nikita. But John making it through. Okay. All right. This is a really good position for John. Bobo has to take a stock. No, like, like, yeah, like really now. Really soon. Oh man. Okay. Actually, you're wobbling. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Wait, 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 are you talking shit? We fit. You're gonna get hit. All right. So now, even stocks, but you know, Bobo has some work cut out for him. Yeah, he's doing Ooh. a really good job avoiding the sun salutation. <gasps> I'm so I'm so anxious. Oh, uh, something I just want to point out is like, while John is charging uh, Sun Salutation, there's a tiny wind box. So grenades, like when they when he throws them at him, instead of it bouncing up, it'll like kind of bounce away because of the wind box, which changes uh -huh. the trajectory. Oh my God! All right, That's really messed Oh up. my <gasps> God, John! All right. Oh no, but Snake is heavy. We're good. Yeah, Snake definitely a uh, thick. Same weight <gasps> as uh, Banjo Kazooie mm -hmm. and Rob. And Rob. Yep. Damn. I know, you're like, Rob is the same weight as Snake. Snake. Okay. Like, sure. And the Benjamin Kazooie, too. Like, yeah. okay. Bears <gasps> are heavy. All right. So, John going to be punishing uh, kind of like the cooldown of uh, that, that C4 mm -hmm. explosion and just kind of falls right into it. Nothing really he could do if he air. Well, yeah. I mean, actually, let's see. Did he have enough time to air dodge? I don't think so. I think it was just pure punish. Let's see. Drop parry to drop this. Oh yeah, no, yeah. That was pure. Nope, oh nope. yeah, no, that was pure punish. Devi didn't have enough time. Yeah, cause like even if we like go back a little bit, he was still in the animation for detonating it. Yeah, it was like almost done, like right here. No, no, yeah, he's just still straight up in the animation. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, pure punish. Well, that, that was that, that, that lasts so long then. Yeah. Um. All right. Oh. So. John got rid of PS2 in Smashville, and Bobo electing to just go back to where they agreed uh, for game one. So back to Battlefield. Uh, honestly, not a bad pick. You know, like I said, like we said earlier, you know, very large blast zones. So you know, this snake can take advantage of his weight uh, to yeah, just a little bit longer. Yeah, right now, of course, John Numbers Legend's friend is kind of like has been 
hold on. Okay, well, he's been like getting played at his own game with the ledge because the bubbles have been doing so well at kind of ledge edge guarding him and not letting him get on the stage for the past two sets or past two games. So I think John just has to play like a little bit more aggressively if he really wants to win on this on the same stage that he lost the first game to. Because clearly there's, there's a difference with uh, the lowly, literally the middle platform kind of being uh, an extra space for that C4 or grenade to launch off of or detonate on, if I should say. Oh, but you gotta be careful, buddy. Yep. All right, so John uh, trapping or I guess reading the the cipher and just being like, I do you know what what did you think was gonna happen here? Yeah, so I think he jumped the platform to reset his jump and then just jumped up and just did it up air yeah. with deep breathing. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, deep breathing up air on Snake gonna definitely be strong enough to knock him out of the C uh, the cipher. Oh, and definitely. Him off the top. Uh, right now, not too bad if Bobo is able to secure this stock. Let's see what happens with the mini game and and, and let's go win for uh, Bobo. Now evening it up right there. Yeah, I would say this is pretty even if BB doesn't have her deep breathing. Yeah, she has deep breathing though. Ugh, it's disgusting. All right, let's see. We're going to have another mini game here. Will Bobo collect another 10 coins? No, he doesn't. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. I imagine if that, that C4 was, like, placed perfectly to, like, combo into other hit. That'd be really nice. Right now, the C4 is on the top platform, though. Uh, like, like, the right side. Just right. so everyone knows. So Bobo doing a pretty good job, honestly. You know, has, has turned it around into his favor. You know, a uh, small, uh, small percent lead on the second stock. And we're playing the mini game a lot. Lot. It's been working out for him. It's so scary, man. Every time he just does side B, you just hear. This is true, you absolutely. Know. Huh? <laughs> All right. So okay. Yeah, I love how this. Oh. Okay. All right. John gonna maneuver around. John collecting ten coins for making it out through the mini game. Goodbye. Batch. That C4 is not gonna. Not, you not. got gotta watch out for it. I'm telling you, Bobo is really good because I. I don't wow. know when he detonated from the top platform and put it on the bottom. Like, hello? Oh, did you see that? When John was charging mm -hmm. the uh, the sun salutation while he went right past it, it the hit the wind box uh, knocked the grenade, slid it over back to uh, to Bobo, so he had to like hold his shield extra long, being like, I don't know that I don't remember what the timing was on this thing. All right. Uh, uh, John is in a really difficult situation now. Yeah, you know, has to take the stock here and like Snake with the lead is oh god. So, no, yeah. I will say John's doing a really good job at kind of avoiding these like onslaught of grenades and and missiles and stuff. Like, yeah, he's but, doing great. but while like maneuvering around like the obstacle course that Snake is building for him, it, uh, not really putting in any, any meaningful hits right now. And Bobo's just kind of like building this lead farther and farther. So, oh yeah, nice picking up the nade, throwing it right back. Potential juggle situation. Oh my oh. god, yes. Okay. I got so scared for a second there. Just for Bobo, because he's at 173. Maybe he's, he's like a sock lead. Yeah. I mean, just, again, the, go, the goodbye sun citation. Thank you, uh, C, uh, Grenade, for blocking it out. Yeah, and by the way, C4 is in the top center platform. Mm -hmm. Will John jump into it? No, he does not. He had he wait one more second. <laughs> one more second. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. Because we Fizz always, or John is always kind of like just jumping up to get you in the air. So if Bobo's Ooh. able to trap John in the air. Uh, 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 oh my god, that is the scariest minigame. John collecting 10 coins, making it back. Wow. wow. Yeah, OK. This is this is not looking good. This is looking great for Bobo. But not so good for John. He's just not able to take out, the, take out this stock. <gasps> All right. OK, but he still has, has like a good catching up to do yeah. if he gets weak. OK. He got, he got, you know, the All right. thing. Yeah, this is this is still, you know, a pretty oh, no. bad situation uh, for We Fit. You know, Snake in the driver's seat here. Uh, Bobo doing a really good job of just like keeping control. Oh my oh. lord! The Nigata came coming out frames to save and body block from the Bobo, Bobo. Bro, you're insane. Bro, 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 bro you're crazy. Bruh. All right, yeah. Bobo has been doing all of these like body blocks. Uh, I mean, not his projectiles have just been blocking the the, the giant. There death it is! That's gonna be not. No, it. that's not it. Okay, I was, I was about to say this is there's a C4 on the right mm -hmm. platform. Yep, and and this is where you know like we fit not the heaviest, but like you know she's not exactly light, and we're still on battlefield, so a lot of extra room up there to to di. Oh my god. 
All right. Ooh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay what, just be careful with the sun right. If he gets hit by sun citation, remember you for him. I'm not gonna lie. The fully charged one. Oh no, it's gone. Yeah, but John's gonna always kind of like spam them because he wants to heal, so he'll let that fully charge. Yeah. That one's not fully charged, just so they can hold up the charge again. And so we'll probably see another shot and a small heal from the the sun, uh, the deep breathing. And whoa. oh my god, whoa. great job by John not go trying to go punish the up tilt because he can't. <laughs> There's Lily a, a C4 right where they were playing like. Yo, this, my man, he's in ah! There it is. Oh, I hear it. And Ooh, the John Bobo. number special. Yes. <laughs> the John numbers knuckles special. My favorite. Can we just get? Can you just see that real fast? Sure. Little... But yeah, we got Bobo advancing mm -hmm. two one over uh, John. What happened here? So like his invincibility wore off. Yep, it just wore off because if we go back just a little bit, John's at a uh, hundred and forty damage. <laughs> so like for those who don't know, when you when your the higher your damage goes, the less uh, inv ledge invincibility you have, mm -hmm. which you can then try to mitigate by having more air time. Uh, but like, yeah, it's a pretty difficult situation to be in. Anyway, yeah, so here we go. Bobo going to be advancing in, <laughs> uh, into winter semis versus uh, someone, but over John, yeah. I just think that it's funny how like frame one he took out his controller. It's it, it just he's just so ready for it. I yep. love it. 